What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day, whatever. I have an autograph book uh, full of photos that I want to share. Uh, depending on how long I talk, it may be a couple of parts to this video. So hopefully you enjoy. I collect umpires, coaches, baseball players, and whoever I can find. So uh, definitely interesting collection. I don't have the whoever I can find yet, but I'll definitely add that soon. And y'all will be along for the ride. So let me start off with my first couple of photos. I do get umpires. Uh, nobody ever bothers umpires, and they're pretty easy autographs to get. I did have an umpire deny me very hard one time, but that's just the name of the game when you're autographing. The first person I want to start with is Mr. Angel Hernandez, who signed both of these for me right here. Angel's probably one of the nicest people that I've ever met. I met him twice. The first time I met him, he was walking out Royal Stadium with a cowboy hat on and was eating ice cream. And I was like, this guy is hilarious. He signed, went on about his way. Next time I met him was this past year. Him and Lance Barks, they were walking out. I do have an autograph photo of him, of him as well. Uh, Lance is an extremely nice guy. Both of them are very hospitable. I managed to get pictures with both of them. They're both very nice guys. So whenever you see those MLB umpires, please say hi to them. They have a hard enough job. Imagine your job is in front of millions of people and they watch what you do. Say you mess up, everybody's going to see it. There's no hiding behind it. So, very nice guys. I couldn't be more happy to have met them. Hopefully, we'll be friends. They can hook me up with some tickets next time. May I get a lineup card? I don't know. But I had the best experience in just meeting them and getting to know them for the short time I had. Um, I went back the next night. They remembered who I was. I appreciate them for them to sign the autographs. I got to meet the other two umpires as well in that crew. Extremely nice people. Hopefully I get to meet them again this next year and maybe get them in a video. We'll see. So that's the first person I want to go over is Angel and Lance. So the next guy who doesn't need an introduction, Joe West. Joe West was really nice too. Extremely cool. That man was set out there all night signing 20,000 things for us. He understands the game. He's retiring this year. I think my man has a country album. Super nice guy. I didn't watch him umpire that night. I just went out to meet him. So I just got lucky. He was going to Milwaukee the next day. He's been around. I think he got to umpire a wild card game this year. I'm so happy for him. He's retiring. And hopefully he gets to enjoy his retirement and not be with all that hustle and bustle of traveling for baseball. But super nice guy, couldn't be more happy to have met him. Next guy is Rob Drake. Now, Rob Drake is not as known as you, uh, Angel or Lance or even Joe, but the thing was with Rob, he had a Twitter, he said something very inappropriate, and he pretty much got canceled for it. So, he doesn't have a Twitter anymore, but he was kind of rushing out the day I got there. It was a getaway game, as what you'll say. But he signed it for me, no problem. Pretty cool guy, so I was excited to meet him. My next autograph I want to talk about is right here, Mr. Tommy Watkins. I have his jersey signed as well. I made one and got one signed from him. Really extremely cool dude. Um, he is a first base coach for the Minnesota Twins. Kind of met him through Twitter. Um, I did go visit Minnesota, as you can probably see in my past vlog. Really nice guy. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Probably one of the nicest guys in baseball. He does have the, the foundation called the Tommy Watkins Foundation. So if anybody that sees this, please go to his foundation and please donate and tell him Yo sent you. He deserves all the best in the world. Really cool guy. Loves to throw baseballs to everybody. Couldn't be much happier of getting to know him on a personal level outside of the game. So cool guy, 10 out of 10 would recommend. The next set of pictures I wanna go over are the two Royals managers, Ned Yost and Mike Matheny. Ned Yost, first off, World Series champion, extremely nice guy. When I met Ned, it was back in 2019, before he retired, he was walking out to his truck, like always, nobody ever bothers Ned, but obviously he's retiring, people are gonna try to get as many autographs as possible. Because he won't be signing much more because he's going to go back home to his farm. So I met Ned, got a photo. Extremely nice guy. The Royals were losing, but it didn't matter. He was just happy to be there and thanked us all for coming. Next was Mike Matheny. It was the beginning of the season. 
Michael's walking out, asked him for his autograph. He said, of course, probably one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, just like Ned. Usually these managers are very nice. They're very probably excited for people to ask them for their autograph because they don't really get bothered too much. So um, if you ever want to get manager autographs, they're pretty easy. Just go up to the managers and they will sign. You know, usually first base coaches, managers, pitching coaches, all of them will usually sign because nobody really asks them for the autographs like the players. But usually those guys are pretty cool. Try to get to know them. That's what I try to do. And just say hi. Wish them good luck. And, you know, Everybody's human. I think everybody likes to say, hey, you're doing a good job. And so I feel whether losing, good, bad, they're doing a good job. They're getting to do things that most of us will dream about doing. So I always try my best just to be nice to those guys, and you'll be surprised what comes out in the end. The next set of pictures I want to go over will be the Royals broadcasters. So right here, all these, all these are the Royals broadcast team. So I got Rex Hutler, Steve Fiziok. Ryan Lefevre, Joe Goldberg, and Jeff Montgomery. I had to think for a second. Um, extremely nice guys. I got them all on one photo, as you can see. Um, I did it within a couple of nights. I couldn't get them all in one night. So I got two one night, two another night, and it was amazing. I do have a story on how I got Ryan Lefevre's autograph. So I, got, I went to get Jeff Montgomery and Joel Goldberg's autograph. I walked up to where they were, and when I walked there, got the autograph, I used a silver marker because I think silver looks better. I lost it. I can't believe I lost my marker. I was so upset, but I lost my marker. Um, a friend of ours knows Ryan. Let them know what kind of picture I had. Ryan came down with the silver marker, saved the day. I was as shocked probably one of the nicest people I've ever met as well. As you can see, I have a theme of being nice people. All these people are nice. If you go up to them, 98% of the time they're gonna say hi, just extremely welcoming. So that's kind of why I like going to the ballpark. Jeff Montgomery always signs as well. I know that picture was upside down. Uh, Jeff Montgomery is really nice. I got him on a baseball. Also got Mr. Rex Hutler too. Since he was an ex-baseball player, he knows. He has great one-liners. So if you ever listen to his broadcast, please listen to it. His one-liners are fantastic. Some of them go as, you can't sneak a piece of cheese behind a hungry rat. And I think I said one earlier, um, that was a Rex line. You'll be a former player longer than you'll be a current player. He always says that as well. Rex is probably one of the nicest people. Has one of the biggest hearts in the community. Super nice guy. Any type of foundation he may have please go donate to him as well i couldn't say more nice things about any of these autographs that i've gotten so far 